Welcome to the Equigraphics video tutorial. This session will focus on the use of the highly effective bubble capper feature. The bubble capper screen is the default opening information for a race. This screen contains some of the most important and powerful information provided in Equigraphics. The three graphs of early, middle, and finish paint a portrait of how the race may play out. The positioning and the size of the bubbles represent different aspects of each horse. The typical running style of each horse is represented by the color of the bubble with green for front runners, yellow for stalkers, red for the trailers, and blue for horses with an unknown running style. A horse with an unknown running style is typically a first time starter or a horse that has never raced in North America previously. Regarding the size of a bubble, it is best to view the larger the bubble as the more confidence you can have that the horse can perform to the pace or final par detailed by the respective graph. There is a handy text box to specify the significance for each particular graph. Mousing over a bubble or tapping with a touchscreen device will bring up the detailed information for the horse represented by the bubble. Unclicking a checkbox in the horse grid will eliminate that bubble from the graph. This can be used if a horse is scratched or if the graph is crowded and you wish to get a clearer view of a particular bubble. Mousing over a horse's name in the horse grid or using a tap with a touchscreen device will bring up the name of the horse's jockey and trainer. It also provides a handy link to add a note about the horse that would be saved to the notes screen. Let's analyze a race that offers a typical straightforward bubble capper play. The race we will examine is from the recent opening day at Del Mar on July 17th. The third race of the day is a typical six furlong sprint on the all-weather surface. Looking at the projected early pace graph, we see a field of seven horses with three front runners along with a stalker that may be part of the early lead and a back of the pack group combined of two stalkers and a trailer. The projected early pace graph and projected middle pace graph have four quadrants that can be used to analyze the pace at the first and second calls respectively. In general, horses in the strong pace category will be on or near the lead and horses in the no pace quadrant will be at the back of the pack. Stalkers or trailers in the pushing pace category tend to be strong plays if they end up with a competitive projective equibase speed figure in the finish graph. Weak pace horses can be up against it, especially if they are front runners. As we move on to the four furlong marker for this race, we can see that not much has changed from the early pace graph. The relative position of the field remains the same in this projected middle pace graph. The projected finish graph charts this race as a two horse race at the finish. Number one, Anita Marie is the best of the front end brigade, while number two, Katie Starr charts with the highest projected equibase speed figure. Since both horses figure to go off at a decent price, an exact bet is surely in order. For players that like pick threes, pick fives, etc., both should be used for this leg. If you were making a win bet, you would have to decide if the higher form factor rating of the one is more important than the higher projected equibase speed figure of the two. Analysis of the other data screens or the odds of each horse can help you make this choice. In this instance, the one beat the two at generous odds, with the race playing out much as it looked in the bubble capper. The next example is from the recent Queen's Plate Stakes, which took place on July 7th. This featured 10th race was at the distance of a mile and a quarter on the all-weather main track. This race is a perfect example of a race with a lone front runner. Lone front runner is easy to spot since it will be the only green bubble on the graph. In this case, number one Midnight Aria charts with a clear lead in the early part of the race. He clearly maintains his advantage at the second call. The finish of the race looks highly contentious, with all but one bubble in the top picks and contenders quadrants, with Midnight Aria barely holding on with the highest projected equibase speed figure. This is where pace analysis comes into play. Since the number one looks to have such a clear lead in the early and middle stages, 
it has to be considered a key play due to such a pace advantage. Lone frontrunners always need to be examined to see if they have the potential to run a big race. The signal screen is a good place to look for additional clues on playing a lone frontrunner. Midnight Aria has lots of positive signals. With lone frontrunners, I especially look for a good workout icon, which Midnight Aria has in this instance, or a long shot icon or a bomber icon. Our next Aquagraphics video will cover tips on taking full advantage of the signal screen. Midnight Aria took advantage of the pace scenario and an all-weather track with some moisture in it to prevail at a big price. Our last example comes from Canterbury Park on July 13th, race 5. This race shows a contentious pace scenario with a good setup for the horses from the back of the pack. It is a claiming race at 6 furlongs on the dirt. The projected early pace graph shows six frontrunners looking to battle from the start. The projected middle pace graph shows three frontrunners battling strongly with the number one keeping a stocking position. The projected finish graph shows the number one charting on top with the seven closing from behind. The two and six look to pick up the minor awards. In this instance, the one and seven completed a very logical exacta. As you can see, pace analysis isn't always about trying to pick the front runners. Each of the three graphs needs to be examined and used to try and figure out how the pace will play out. This is horse racing, so it is rare that everything will work out perfectly, but with the help of the bubble capper, many times there will be logical, standout plays based on strictly pace analysis. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time.